30. City leaders and the police department itself acknowledging staffing levels at the Richmond Police Department are at an all-time low. Not what you want to see. Crown Forest Philippe Chagall reports that the department is struggling to fill vacant positions and recruit officers, resulting in excessive overtime. Stretched thin and overworked on any given day, several Richmond police officers are working double shifts and it's wearing them down. Is it sustainable? No. Um, but it, right now we're, we're able to get by and, and our officers are doing a great job. Two fiscal years ago, the department boasted 175 sworn positions. Today, the budget has allocated enough funds for 145 sworn positions. But department spokesperson Lieutenant Matt Stonebreaker says the number of officers on the streets is actually 101 when you factor in the number of officers out on vacation or injury leaves. We haven't been this low in uh, a a very long time, if, if ever. Lieutenant Stonebreaker says the city needs to help with recruitment by offering a more competitive benefits and compensation package. Mayor Tom Butt agrees, but says his staff is still awaiting the results on a study detailing how the police department's compensation compares to others. Meanwhile, he too is noticing the impact fewer officers is having on services. It's almost impossible in Richmond to get a get an abandoned car moved or to get uh, uh, get officers to um, uh, patrol neighborhoods and give tickets to speeders and that kind of thing. An officer with nearly 14 years on duty and president of the Richmond Police Terrio, Officers Association, Benjamin Terrio, says many property crimes are not being reported or investigated because the department does not have enough people to look into them and residents are keeping quiet because they don't want to waste their time reaching out. I fear that we'll have more people leave and we will not be able to attract good quality people to uh, be police officers. Terrio, who is also running for Contra Costa County Sheriff, was one of at least 16 officers forced to work overtime last week to cover vacant shifts. That's considered a high number, but not out of the ordinary in recent months. Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.